All right, let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Scott Patchett now to look at uh, the forecast here on this Monday. I saw some rain earlier today. Heard it too. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you hit some of our windshields as yeah. well. So scattered showers around and more rain on the way the next couple of days. But by the end of the week for spring break, we'll see that sunshine return. But it's been a dismal start to our spring break. Here's the cloud cover, the Dallas time lapse showing those overcast skies across North Texas. And at times, some of you seeing some rain. It hasn't been a washout through the day today. You see on the radar right now, not really picking up a lot through parts of the Metroplex. We've seen a couple of spotty showers here or there. Widening out the view even more. Down to the south, a little bit more rain over in parts of Louisiana, but we have a frontal boundary that's down to the south that's kind of stalled out. This same stationary front, well down towards the southwest and southwest Texas, will work its way northeast as a warm front over the next 24 to 36 hours, and that will increase our temperatures, but also our chance for more rain in the forecast. So here is the future sky forecast going into your Monday evening, and a couple of spotty showers are on the way. Way. Our temperatures overnight into the morning hour might cool down by a couple of degrees, but other than that, they remain relatively steady. And then through tomorrow, scattered showers, maybe some isolated storms off and on. Not all of us will see the rain for us going into tomorrow afternoon and then into the evening hours. But late tomorrow night and then into Wednesday, that's when we start to see more rain coverage and even some stronger to possibly severe storms. So our winds will be out of the southeast, pretty breezy for tomorrow, and our temperatures will warm their way into the 60s. For us. But then, as we do go into Wednesday night, into uh, Tuesday into early Wednesday morning, we see a cold front boundary developing, working into this warm air mass. And you notice ahead of the front, our winds will be out of the southeast near about 37 miles per hour, maybe gusting up to near 40. So it's going to be a breezy to windy Wednesday morning. And as this front approaches, we're going to see the potential of strong to possibly severe storms during the morning commute between about 6 to 9 o'clock, moving through the Metroplex. It will continue to then move its way to the east by the time we get. To our midday in East Texas, still seeing some leftover showers behind the front, and then we'll see those clouds clear out, and our temperatures respond to the sunshine and our winds out of the southwest near 25 miles per hour. So there's the potential of strong to possibly severe storms with that line on Wednesday morning. Does not include the Metroplex, but just off to the west and our west counties of North Texas. That slight risk of severe storms is there. Main threat right now looks like 60 mile per hour wind gusts or maybe slightly higher than that, and possibly some quarter to golf ball size hail between about 6 to near noon. And then after that, we're going to dry out and we'll see some cool mornings, but also the sunshine returning. 71 degrees will be the high Wednesday, and then Thursday, 65 degrees. Going into Friday and Saturday, even the weekend, we'll see a lot of sunshine, but those morning temperatures in the upper 30s to the low 40s, St. Patrick's Day, lots of sunshine and 60 degrees. I guess that's the luck of the Irish there, Ken. Yeah, 60 sounds good. Thanks so much, Scott. Appreciate it.